Hey everyone, this is Michael Cohen, the Tech Rabbi, and I have here a MakerBot Smart Extruder. And these things are workhorses, but they get clogged a lot, and there's a couple different strategies to get them working, and you just need to know what exactly is going wrong as you're trying to load and unload the filament so that you do not waste time taking the thing apart and trying to figure out where the issue is. So there's a couple key components where things can get clogged or offset, and it could be an issue with your filament, it could be an issue with the way in which the filament is feeding into the smart extruder, or you could have a broken piece of filament or a piece of filament that is clogged in the nozzle. So the first thing that you do is you get this thing super hot and we're talking about 215 degrees Celsius. So if you think you're gonna touch this metal piece, you will learn quickly how to avoid getting uh, very intense burns. But you're going to take off the nozzle here, which I have on a piece of cardboard because it could be anywhere between 100 and 200 degrees Celsius still. And you check out to see if there is anything clogged inside the nozzle. And you can use some needle-nosed pliers or a piece of copper uh, wire to try to pull that out. And then once you are doing that, then you can actually run a piece of filament through the, um, the smart extruder, uh, get it down in there, and then actually push it out. And as you notice here, check that out. So one of the things that happens with the smart extruder is that there's an offset for whatever reason with the way in which it feeds through this little teeny hole that's down right over here by this metal feeder component. And what will happen is, is that it'll just hit that over and over again and you'll think that there is a filament that is clogged inside the extruder, but it's actually not. It's either that there's too much of a bend or a curl on your filament and that could be the issue. But if you're able to open it up and check out and confirm whether or not that is happening, then you'll be able to, uh, to remedy it, right? And so that is, uh, that is one component uh, that you need to look out for. Then if you are able to successfully run the filament inside of the extruder, you're able to then push it through and kind of just go back and forth to get any sort of filament that is locked in, uh, clogged in, melted, whatever, into the, um, into the smart extruder component. Uh, and then you should be good to go. So that's just a quick kind of rundown, two minutes or less, three minutes or less, of which components you need to take apart and be aware of as you're trying to repair your smart extract, uh, your smart um, uh, MakerBot smart extruder. Thank you for watching this.